All right, little Drew. This is our first Christmas horror movie on the podcast. We're going to be doing some from now until Christmas. And you mentioned it. It's called Mrs. Claus, a 2018 film originally known as Stirring. Directed by uh, Troy Escamilla, which I'm familiar with him on uh, Fright Meters on uh, the internet. Um, it has five wins and 13 nominations. What do you think, Little Girl? Uh, I think this movie had its up, ups and downs. As it would for a low-budget yeah. film. So basically you have a... It starts off with um, the typical sorority bitches. Um, a member wants to get in. And... Uh, so basically the movie starts off with... Um, like I said, the two bitches, the bitches from, you know how it is. And the one made the one newcomer that wanted to join the whatever was told to lick piss in the toilet. And it made her masturbate, whatever the hell it was. A little bit extreme. Then it comes about four months later, Christmas time, and they bought gifts for each other, and, you know, and... The one got this bitch that present, and then the one that they've been bullying or whatever. Basically, that stupid bitch gave her this big black cock, big black dildo cock thing, whatever, and she didn't like it and went running away, upset and crying. And I guess it pushed her that far. That the best thing in this movie, I thought, was when that bitch got fucking killed. When she came in there and stuck the big black penis in the woman's mouth and starts stabbing her. That was the best scene ever. I couldn't stand that fucking bitch. I was so glad she was killed because she's an ignorant fucking bitch. Can't say it enough. And of course she goes out and hangs herself. Now it comes to four years later or how, whatever, how long it was. Ten. Ten years, right? Now at the time her sister Amber, Kaylee Williams, was only eight. Now she's 18, going to college, and and then she decides to go to the same house, live in the same house that her sister was killed. Of course, Amber, being that it's her sister, the person that killed her was evil and nuts and all, but, you know, Amber, uh, wake up and smell the coffee. Your sister was a fucking bitch, okay? A bitch. She, no one deserves to die, but she deserves everything she got because she's a bitch. Ugh. Can't Especially say it enough. Made the other girl like the yellow Ignorant. You know, fuck you. Anyways, Amber, you know, it's a movie. Amber, it's her sister. And, and she wanted to live in the same house. It's kind of weird. And she wanted to join the same, you know, group. Whatever. Um, then all of a sudden, people started dying. The young girl who killed Amber's sister, her mother, I guess apparently must have been harassing the family before, you know, within those 10 years, comes and pays Amber a visit. And I said to you, she's a killer. <laughs> but, uh, it was. But, um, there's a twist in this movie. Uh, Brinky Stevens plays Julie Carnell. She was this, mil uh, what, campus police officer, whatever. Yeah. Um, ends up I guess her sister is the mother of the girl that committed suicide after she killed Amber's sister. Whatever. I think it being I know it being an independent film, I think most scenes could have done just a little bit better of a job. Cause like there there is this one scene I remember, and it was them trying to get a clear shot of the door scene when they were knocking on the door. <laughs> Because uh, some I forget what her name was, but someone was missing. So they were knocking on a door, and you could see the reef moving back and forth that was on the door. Because they opened the door, I guess they opened the door to make it look like the door was clear, to make it look like you were looking right through. The yeah, door. yeah, yeah, yeah. But you could see the reef moving back and forth. Well, there's one. <laughs> I mean, I understandably, this was shot in Texas. I mean, that's where Troy is from, and. Derek Huey, who uh, is a cinematographer um, from Texas, and that one girl, I can't remember her name, Erica, Al yeah, Alex, and I can't remember 
her ex-boyfriend's name, whatever. Well, she comes outside and goes, whew, but yet they're sweating. Yeah. <laughs> it's obvious in the Texas heat, but it's, hey, that's that's the way of filmmaking. That's just the way it is. It made it seem like they were cold, but they were sweating. Yeah. Their skin yeah. was shiny. Um, not even that. I think uh, the, the, the murder scenes was pretty good, the kill scenes. Some but, of them were too long. But, right, I was going to say that. It's like, they go on forever before yeah. they die. Like it's the like, the girl what the that hell? Was, like the girl that was getting... There's one thing I don't understand in a horror movie, really quickly, is when you're getting strangled by lights. Like No, That's that was Christmas that? lights. But whenever, it looked like barbed to me. Whenever you're getting strangled by Christmas lights in a horror movie, they always get their throat cut somehow. Yeah. But like when she got her throat, when she got her throat cut by the Christmas that scene lights, took forever. She yeah. just, her blood just kept pouring out of her throat, and she just kept on struggling. I know. But like in some in some other horror movies, it's like they pull one time and then they automatically dead. Well, yeah, but you know, I'm not going to stand there and knock it because I'm an actor in independent films as well. But it was funny though because it's like. I don't know what they were doing, but it's like, oh, uh, she has to be dead by now. And she's like, like the girl got her. stabbed in the stomach. The girl that got stabbed in the stomach, <laughs> she was laying there squirming for like three hours. <laughs> and then she finally like died. How about that right at the end there when Brinky Stevens gets that thing up her mouth, whatever, and the blood's coming out of, her, out of the pipe or whatever it was. Oh, and, and the you, girl just sat there and let the blood go in her mouth. Like, it, <laughs> like I was like, uh, shouldn't you already kick her off your body? And she was just sitting there letting the blood pour down the tube and stuff. It was weird. I mean, the, I love these movies, though, because, you know, it is what it is. But Watching actors get blood poured in their mouth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and Tyler. I love Tyler in here. He was a podcaster or whatever. And, and I get he's gay, and the one black girl... Um, well, she, he says to her, he says, it's kind of weird that, that you, that you're in this fraternity. He's why? Cause I'm black. <laughs> that was a good line. And then the next one was, was she like, I guess she wants to get laid, whatever. And she tried to hit on Tyler. Tyler goes, you do know that I'm gay. Yeah. <laughs> and she got pissed off. <laughs> I guess she felt like an ass. <laughs> but, uh. Yeah, I mean, it shot well. I mean, acting was cool. I mean, the uh, storyline was good. Mrs. I mean, Claus was awesome. Yeah, Mrs. Claus, that was uh, the young lady's mother, and I can't remember that her name. It's, I'm terrible with names. Well, but. at first we thought, well, you thought at first it was Tyler. No, I said her. I said the mother first, then I said Tyler, because I could tell about his hands, and it was... I didn't even know who it was. I thought it was the girl, one of the sisters coming back. No, I knew it was something to do with... You know, the mother getting revenge or somehow, but you know, it's an entertaining film. I I, I think some of the characters were kind of boring. That football jock, I can't remember his name, was a paint Grant. Remember his name was? Oh yeah, Grant is the um, the jock team. Ryan. Yeah, Cole, yeah. What a dumb character that was. Stupid. And then he had sex with Madison. No, not Madison. It was Angela. I can't. I can't. Even, there's so many fucking whatever. But, um, enough is enough. Um, yeah, it's an entertaining film. I mean, it was, again, it was funny. Ooh, it's cold. You shouldn't say no. cold, but there they are sweating. <laughs> you could tell us in the Texas heat. And they're sitting there talking like, do you think Santa gets high? And they're, they're just sitting there oh, talking brother. about if they think Santa or the elves get high. Yeah, I think that was Alexandra. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. I was like, I, I couldn't help not to listen how she talks I'm thinking did I hear that right what do you give it um I give it a 7.5 out of 10 I give it a 6.5 I mean it's above average it's I've seen a lot of films like this but you know it's just uh yeah that being said this is Grizzly Herzog and Little Girl and we're out woo